the Lindbergh family is my grandfather and my grandmother, and my mother, Lillian, was a Lindbergh. And on my father's side, there was the Tootenses and Bouchard. So we have long history in the Agassiz area. But I will start with the, uh, the Limberts. My grandfather came from France in 1900, and he settled in Agassiz. But before that, his brother, Emile Limbert, and their first cousin, Emile Martin, and Emile Martin's sister, Leonie martin Louiet, and her husband, Ferdinand, moved to... Winnipeg, and then they found the winter's cold, and so Emile Limbert got a job with the railway, and he ended up in Mission, and he thought the Fraser Valley looked so much like where they grew up in France, near Grenoble in the saint Antio in the Desire Valley. So he convinced his cousins to come out, and they settled in Agassiz. So we've had the Limberts and the Martins and the Louis all related, and Limbert Road and Martin Road, and there was a Louis Road at one time, all were um, our family relatives. So my grandfather and his brother bought a farm, the Limbert Mountain Farm, and they started as dairy farmers, and they basically homesteaded the uh, mountain. There was a little cabin there. And then he basically, with the French-speaking Catholics in the Agassiz area, they would all get together on Sundays, and they would go out to Seabird Island First Nations, where the Oblates had their mission, and they had a Catholic church, and the language was French and English. So the French-Canadian, French-speaking Catholics uh, were more closely related to the people in, in the social way with the First Nations people at Seabird. And it wasn't until 1913 that they actually built the first St. Anthony's Church where the present one is today. So my grandpa was in Agassiz, and he had friends in the French-speaking community. And one of those friends was Ned Roussel, and Ned happened to live in Agassiz. He was here uh, in the early uh, 1900s, and he was recovering at the Harrison Hot Springs Hotel at that point was a healing center. And he would have met uh, my grandpa, Martin Lambert, at church. And being French-speaking, they all got together, and there was a way of, they wanted the uh, French-speaking single men to marry the French-speaking single women. <laughs> so Uncle Ned ended up getting married to Josephine Castonguay, and he moved out to Agassiz, and bought a farm in Agassiz, which is, has been known as the Western Farm in Town, which is now where Western Park is. But it was Ned and Josephine Roussel's farm, and they had a daughter, Florence. And Florence, being a baby, her mother, Josephine, thought she needed help. And so she asked her family in Quebec if someone would come out to help her. And she had come out to stay with a cousin in Vancouver to learn English. So when the time came for the train to leave from Quebec, instead of her youngest sister, Yvonne, on the train, it was my strong-willed grandmother, Annie Rose Castonguay. And that's how Annie Rose Castonguay ended up in Agassiz. And, of course, because Ned knew Martin, mm -hmm. he ended up introducing uh, Annie Rose and Martin, and they got married in 1917. And because he already had the farm, they moved to the farm. And that's where my mother was born in 1918. So that was the beginning of the Limbert family, but not the beginning of the Limbert Mountain Farm. When Grandpa came over from France, he came over with his mother and father, Philippine and Jean Limbert, and they started on the farm with him. And they stayed with him up while they had the children, and then they moved into Agassiz, into one of the smaller houses in Agassiz. And on the farm, my mother was born in August 20th, 1918, and her sister Fernandine was born in 1919, and sister Jean Limbert was born in 1921. And the last child, the son, was born in 1923. And so that was Philip. So there was Martin and Annie Rose Limbert and their four children, Lillian, Fernandine, Jean, and Philip. And they all went to school in Agassiz and they continued farming. And school in Agassiz was the two old schools. And one was the elementary school, one was the secondary school. And when it came time as, as young adults, um, just before the war, 
they, they had all decided which careers they were going to take. Now, in 1939, Uncle Philip Limbert joined the uh, Royal Canadian Air Force and was involved with the war in the Air Force in England. When he came home, he married Opal Vandell, sister of Reg Vandell Hardy, and the present Hardy Garage and the Hardy family. So we had a connection, and then Uncle Phil... And Auntie Opal moved to Trail, where he was an engineer with Comenco for years. Then they retired, and they moved to White Rock for years. And then they just uh, retired back up again to near Trail. And Auntie Opal and Uncle Phil Lumber passed away this year in 2020. Mm-hmm. And he was the last Lumberg. 